Hey guys, I hope you're well. Today I'll be showing you the best loot I got after 200 runs of the pit, Eldritch and Shank, done on my Poison Necro. As usual, the footage has been recorded online on Players 1 difficulty, while my gear, build and stats are available for you to see in the background. A quick note, I've used an insight to bring my Iron Golem out, so I get the Meditation Aura from him, while the Reaper stow on my Merc also brings the Crapify to the equation. I'd like to thank you for the immense support you've provided so far. If you enjoy the content and haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing, as well as liking and sharing my videos. You're also welcome to join the community discord in case you're looking for like-minded people to play, chat and share your most exciting drops with. A link will be available in the description of this video. In the outro, you'll have the opportunity to hear some final thoughts, as well as see a recap of the most exciting drops, a sample run, and a list of the Christmas giveaway winners. Without further delay, it's now time to watch. On my very first run, I decided to go a bit further away from the main targets, and it actually pays off. We skipped run 47 in order to loot Thunderstroke Jaffs that roll very poorly in terms of extra skills. It took me 49 runs in order to get my first decent unique item from the pit. It's a Guardian Angel with 4% off perfect TD. One run later, we also find a lightsaber. Then on run 51, our second skewer so far, this time a shape-shifting one for druids. Run 59, we loot another skewer that does have decent value. It gives one to combat skills for Paladin, as well as 7% faster run walk. Run 63, we obtain Titan's Revenge. Like the Thunder Strokes, they don't throw very well. Five runs later, the pit gives us a Storm Shield. On run 79, we get two unique drops in a very quick succession. It was cool to get them pretty much at the same time, but both of them end up being quite disappointing. One of the best items I found during this session enters the scene during run 87. I've never gotten anything good from Shank in the past, but this SOJ shall be remembered for a long time. Just one run later, we also get a unique amulet on our way to the pit. Unfortunately, it's the Crescent Moon. Run 91, we get Natalia's Shadow, that also rolls with the max possible 3 sockets. Run 98, first we get Rangu's Gloves. And moments later, we also obtain a decent Grand Charm, that gives 14 to all res, as well as 3 to max damage. Our second unit amulet drops on run 99, but once again, it's no good. Two runs later, we lose Tau Rasha's armor. Even though it's not very valuable at this point, I'm excited to find it since it still is quite rare and also the first one for me in DTR. It took me another 41 runs in order to find this small charm with 7 MF and 6 to mana. One more run, one more decent charm. This one gives some max damage, attack rating and HP. Another piece of Natalia's set dropped on run 157. This time it's the helm, Natalia's totem. Run 158, we loot an Ephrio giant treasure. It's a good base, I rode it in the cube and ended up with 5 sockets. Someone claimed it just a couple of days ago, since it became part of the recent giveaway. A third unique amulet drops on run 184, and it's another miss. The last drop for today appears on run 199. It's a Geese Grand Charm that rolls with minimum MF. 
Well, I'm a bit disappointed I couldn't get a single decent roll, but it's part of the trail. I still found a couple of nice items, like the SOJ, Taurasha's armor, and a few useful charms, so all in all, it was alright. It took me about 12 hours to complete these runs, bearing in mind I wasn't really tryharding and often farmed on my way to the pit, as well as random packs located near Eldritch and Shang. In the background you can see a sample run, a recap of the items we found during this session, as well as the winners of the recent giveaway. I'd like to thank everyone who decided to participate, and congratulations to those who managed to win something. I'm planning to organize at least one more giveaway before the launch of Ladder, so stay tuned! Thank you for staying until the end. In the next video, I will show you the results of 300 Travinco runs completed on my fine item Berserker Barb. I was honestly planning to do more, but I got so many nice items during these runs that it just felt pointless to continue. I didn't think it can get any better. A preview of my gear, build and stats will also be available for you to see in the background. I can't wait to show you this one, the time investment paid off big time. With this, we've reached the end of this video. Stay safe and see you in the next one!